Hello guys, I'm Yadika Reddy and welcome to my channel HVI Tutorials. In this video, I'll explain about how you can generate multiple reports in extend reports or how you can generate the reports based on the status. Like you want to generate one report for failed test cases, you want to generate one report with all the test cases or you want to generate the report with only skipped and warning test cases. Like that, how you can generate multiple extend reports. So that I will show you in this video guys. Fine. But in which scenario you are going to use this one? in which scenario you feel like you want to generate the multiple reports. So basically whenever you generate a single report, it will have all type of test cases, right? It will have the past, failed, skipped, warning, all kind of test cases you will be having. So you can just filter from there, right? But why do you need separate, separate reports? With your report, there are so many uses. So you can present this report as a metric to the management or maybe you can use the same report for fixing the failures also, right? If you are presenting it to the management, probably you need to present all the things like failure, pass, everything, right? So in that scenario, whatever the report that we were actually generating, that will help. But when you want to actually fix the failure test cases only, then you need to perform extra step, right? So you need to generate the report with all the test cases and then you need to filter that. So here the filtering option is again one extra step that you are doing, right? So instead of that, what if you create multiple reports? one with all the test cases and one with only the failure test cases. So in that scenario, it is easy to just go through each and every test case in the failed report and just fix it, right? So that is why we are going to generate multiple reports, guys. If your project is demanding multiple reports, then you can just implement it. So extend reports is providing one option for that. So we are going to learn that, fine? So let me just open the Eclipse. So let me copy this class and paste it, chapter 11 and let me open the chapter 11. So here I'm going to remove this entire thing. So I'm not going to apply any tab related configuration here. And if you look at this, I have the pass test case and I have the failed test case and let's skip any test here and I'll say skip to test. So we have pass, fail, skip and we can have one warning test also. This is a warning test. And also we have the exception, fine. So we have all kind of test cases now, correct? Now I want to generate multiple reports using this one. So how can I generate? So whenever you want to generate any report, what we are actually using, we are using the Spark reporter here, right? So every Spark reporter instance is going to generate one report for you. So either you can use the Spark reporter or any other reporter that is available in the extent reports like emailable report or Clo report or event stack report like that. There are so many other reports also, right? So you can generate any kind of report basically. So in this scenario, we are only going with Spark reporter because it is open source, right? So I want to generate multiple reports, which means I need to create multiple instances of the Spark reporter. You got my point? So for every report generation, we are going to create one Spark reporter instance. So if you want multiple reports, you need to initialize multiple Spark reporter instances. Correct? So I'll remove this file instance. I'll directly provide the file path here. So I'll mention it is all test dot HTML. So if you are generating all the test cases inside only one HTML file, I'm mentioning that as a all test dot HTML file. Fine. So the same thing I need to open here, correct? All test dot HTML. So because whatever the report that you are actually generating here that we want to open automatically. And in the similar way, I want to generate few more reports. Let's take two more reports here. One for only failed test and one for skip and warning test cases. Fail test and one for skip and warning tests. So I have created three reports here. So you need to change the object name basically because you cannot have the same name for multiple objects. So I'll just mention this as spark reporter all spark reporter failed skip and warning. Fine. So it's just a variable name guys. You can have it anything. So now I want to generate multiple reports. So how can I generate multiple reports basically? So while you are attaching the report to the engine, you need to attach all your reporters to the engine guys. So the first one is all report comma. The second one is failed. So you can attach multiple reports also to your engine guys. 
so your engine will identify how many reports are there and what are those configurations and all and based on that it will process that okay that means it will basically generate the report fine so now we are passing the three reports but nowhere we are actually applying the filters here right so if you want to only filter out your failed test cases or if you want to only filter out your skipping and warning test cases how you are going to do that for all tests we are not going to skip anything or we are not going to change anything this is just like that right by default all of your test cases will come into that so we don't need to apply anything on that but for fail we need to perform some extra steps right so let's apply that spark reporter failed dot there is a filter inside this one guys so we need to use that filter filter dot so we have another method called status filter so we want to filter your test cases based on the status this pass fail all these things are basically the status right your test status so we want to apply the filter based on the test status so that is why we are calling status filter method and as so here there are three methods basically it is a single method but overloaded method with three type of things guys so one is accepting the list of status and the other one is accepting set of status and the other one is accepting status array. So anything is fine guys. So even here also status is a enum. So just like in our earlier video, we have a view name. So the view name is actually a enum. So in the similar way here, the status is also a enum. Fine. I'll create the new status array. The status enum is coming from the event stack guys. So there are so many other statuses, but don't take any of these things consider the one which is coming from event stack dot extend reports so whenever you are creating any array for enum that array should have the enum values only right just like how integer array is having integer values and how string array is having string values so in the similar way enum array also should have the enum values of that enum only right so here i'll just mention as status dot fail so after this, we need to call one method called apply. Otherwise, this setting will not be applied to the reporter. Okay. So this is how you are going to basically filter your test cases, guys. This is how you are going to filter your test cases while generation of the report itself. You got it? While generation of the report itself, I'm filtering the test cases. So here you can have n number of things, guys. Now I'm only generating for failed test cases in this one, right? So that is why I'm providing only failed status here. But for this one, I need to provide skip and warning, correct? So let me copy the same line and I'll paste it here. So for this reporter, I need to change the configuration, correct? So here, let me put it this way. So when you have multiple values, just make sure you are putting in this way, guys. It's just a readable format. Now status dot warning and the first one will be skipped. Skip and warning. So we are generating three reports, one with all the test cases, that means fail, pass, skip, warning. And the other one is with only fail test cases. And the other one is only with skip and warning test cases. So apart from this configuration, if you want to provide any other configuration, like view order changing, that means the tabs order changing or removing any tabs, or maybe if you want to provide the report name, doc title, all those things you can apply for individual reports, guys. So for every report, you can apply the configuration changes. You got it? So now let's just run this. So before that, let me add all these things also here. So currently we are only opening one report here, right? So we need to open all the other reports also by default. Fail test and the other one, skip and warning test, right? So I'll just copy that and paste it here. Yes, perfect. So now let me run this. So by default, it should open three reports for me. Now you see, all test, fail test, skip and warning test, right? So here, if you see in the all test, we have all kind of test cases, right? Pass, fail, skip, warning, pass, pass, fail. So all of your test cases are there in the all test.html report. And if you go to the only fail test, here only the failed test cases are displayed. It is not displaying any past test cases, correct? So even though if you go to any of these tabs, you will not get any past test cases itself. You will only get the failed test cases guys, because we are already filtering those test cases and then we are generating the report. You are not filtering it after generating. You are filtering the test cases and then you are generating it. You got my point? So the next one is skip and warning. 
So here you can see skip test case and warning test cases are there. So based on the status of your test, you can actually filter and you can generate multiple reports also guys. This is clear, right? So if you want to apply the filters after generating, then you need to just go with this one. Pass, fail, warning, skip, like this, okay? But here it is not like that, you see? We have only failed test cases because while generating itself, we have applied the filters. So in this report, we don't have the pass or skip or warning test cases. This report only contains the failed test cases. Clear? So this is how you are going to generate multiple reports with different, different statuses guys. So based on your requirement, you need to generate the number of reports. So that is for this video guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And also if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.